Good morning. Welcome to part two of the video of the Kalula Great Walk. This is day three. We've just kicked it off. It's bright and early in the morning. It's 7.30. The only reason I'm up and about this early is I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning in bed on my little blow-up mattress since about four o'clock and even I was sick of the noise. So I decided to get up and get out. So I smashed the coffee and I'm off. And straight off the bat, this trail is a little bit barren. We're out in the middle of, uh, just feels like nowhere. It's very low fields at the moment. But I was told something last night while I was having dinner. There's little wild pigs, little piglets. I didn't know there was such a thing that roams freely around these parts. And apparently they're here. And I was walking along and I could see on the trail here, Little, I thought they were actually deer, little deer feet. But no, people, they're little piglet hoofs. So fingers crossed, I see a little couple of piglets. That'll make my morning. So I'm gonna get a few Ks under my belt, straight off the bat, because my legs are a little bit sore. Got a couple of blisters going on. So I'm gonna try and stretch the legs out, warm them up, and we'll check back in in a bit. All right, just a halftime update on day three. I'm feeling pretty good. I was gonna stop for lunch at about 11 and it's 11 o'clock now and my legs are just ticking over nicely. So I'm just gonna keep pushing on while I'm feeling good. It's by far, there was a little bit of, there was a few hills this morning, early on, but it's really flattened right out. And I know it doesn't look like it right now, but we've been under a fairly thick uh, tree canopy all morning, uh, which has been made it nice and shady, just like this. So out of the sun, nice and flat, it's a dream. So at this rate, I'm feeling that good, I might just push right through to camp, so I'll see you there. So here we are in camp three. We've, uh, I've actually made it here before lunchtime, but it only took me four and a half hours, uh, which was a nice break uh, in comparison to the last two pretty heavy days. So instead of having a cold lunch, I'm actually gonna cook myself a uh, hot meal for lunch before I set up my tent. What I've usually been eating for lunch are just these like uh, tuna to go meals, which have been really handy. What I'm gonna do in the description below this video and in part one, um, I'm going to put a list of all the food that I have taken, uh, how much I've packed, and even the campsites along the way. I'm just going to put a few little tips that I wish I knew before I um, before I got here. So I'm going to have some lunch, set up my tent. I might even get the drone up in the air and see how remote this little campsite really is, and then uh, we'll kick off again tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to day four. It's um, it's quarter to seven in the morning. I've decided to get up this morning and get a bit bit of a head start on the day because it's due to rain. Uh, we're actually due to have thunderstorms at about one o'clock, so that should be uh, that should be done. Love rain, and I don't want to be setting my tent up uh, in the rain. That would be a disaster. So the aim of the game today is to get to camp before one, that's about six hours, and there's about, I think we have 20 plus Ks to do, so. If I keep a pretty good pace, I think I'll be able to get there. So as I said, I finished breakfast. I'm gonna go filter my water, my usual routine every morning. I've only got 2.1 liters of water with me, and I've found that 20, 20 Ks in the sun without shade, that is, oof. Don't tell my mum, but it's just enough. You wouldn't want to be carrying any less than two litres. So 
So a little lunchtime update. I've gone hard for the first 15 k's today to get them under my belt, with the, really with the aim of getting to camp by one o'clock so I can set up my tent before these uh, thunderstorms come. I think it's a myth. The sun is well and truly still out. I've only got five k's to go and I'm steaming. I haven't really had a break yet. So I'm just gonna chill out here for 20 or 30 minutes, have my uh, tuna and chickpeas and soak up this rain for us. So that rain that I thought wasn't coming this afternoon, well, uh, she is well and truly here. So I'm gonna bunker down tonight, gonna cook my laksa under the cover of my tent. It's actually not as bad as it looks, considering I'm dry. So I might just watch a Netflix movie and, uh, and call it a night and just listen to this rain. It was awesome. Good morning from day five. This is the final day. We're nearly there. We're feeling good. I'm feeling good. Last night was so good, falling asleep in that tent with the rain. There's something about that. It's really cozy. It was freezing. I had the sleeping bag pulled right up. I had all my jackets on. My nose was about to snap off, but I loved it. And a little mouse. You know how I had my laksa? in uh, the tent last night well the old food pot was sitting just out the outside the tent and about 11 30 at night something woke me up tinking on the tin of the pot it's a bloody mouse going at my old laksa so they're pretty cheeky you can't leave anything out about so he scared the shit out of me and i scared the shit out of him and then that was it we parted ways so we're off this morning. My legs are feeling awesome. It's amazing after day three or four, your legs just start to really open up. I mean, straight off the bat today, I feel like I could walk 30 Ks. So I'm feeling good. So this is the last stretch. It's a pretty easy one, apparently. It's only 15 Ks through pretty much rainforest terrain, right into Rainbow Beach. But we go through, we go past a lake called Puna Lake, which is uh, quite beautiful apparently. I've seen some pretty cool drone footage of this bad boy. So I'm definitely going to stop there, have a bite to eat for a little light lunch before I get into town and smash a beer. Because I absolutely can't wait for a frothy. So I'll see you at Puna Lake. Let's do this. Last day. I'm Spewing. All right, we've made it to Puna Lake already. That was quicker than I thought. Have a look at this. It's like a little oasis in the middle of nowhere. I always feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere out here. It's great. So I think this lake looks good now, but it's going to look even better from the air. So let's get the drone up and have a look.
So the five day adventure has come to an end. We've finally made it to Rainbow Beach. <laughs> Civilization. What an adventure. If you've made it this far in the video, you're a bloody legend. Thanks so much for making it this far and coming along for the journey. If you have liked the video, hit that like button. I would appreciate that. If you've got any questions about the trail, about the Kalula Great Walk, hit me up in the comments below of the video. I'm gonna put my description, my Instagram tag uh, in the description of the video as well. So if you've got any questions, you can always DM me on there. I'll endeavor to get back to every single one. But thanks again for coming along. Hopefully this road takes me straight to the pub because that's, that's where I'm heading for a burger and a beer. Well deserved. I'll see you in the next one.